Hello everyone. Uh, last time we did the colour beginning and as you can see the paint is now dried so I'm going to mix up some titanium white, some silurium blue and just a hint of burnt umber and I'm going to use this colour to block in the sky in a pale blue and as I do that I'm going to keep the line which I create by blocking in that blue rather jagged because if you remember there's a line of trees off in the distance here. So we'll, we'll fill that in and I'm also going to ensure that the horizon line slopes down to the left so it's not just a boring horizontal line. And because we have that first layer of dry acrylic paint already on the paper, this second layer of paint goes on much more readily and smoothly. So just mixing up some more of the same colour. Let's maybe make it a little bit more bluey, just to change the hue a little bit as we move from right to left. Let's blend that in. And we'll put a bit of a gap in the tree line there, just there. And smooth out some of this paint. So if you remember I said I was, in a previous video, I said that uh, I'm quite happy for some of that yellow ochre colour to show through here and there in the sky. But I don't want too much of it showing through, so you know I want the impression that we have a, a nice hazy summer sky, and a little bit more blue to the mix. And then some indication of the distant hill over on the left. And I think what we'll do is add even more of the silurium blue to that mix and just make the top of the sky a little bluer than I have at the moment. And because the paint's still wet, I will hopefully be able to blend that in fairly readily. Well, that was, that was nice. Do you see that little burst of uh, yellow ochre coming through there? That part of the painting was obviously still wet, but that's okay. I'm going to leave that quite deliberately. Okay, great. Next stage then is to describe this hill very simply. And what I'm going to do is put a thin layer of a purpley blue, a pale purpley blue gray over this region. So I'm now applying quite a dilute mix of ultramarine blue, magenta, a touch of burnt umber and titanium white to this region here. And that's going to represent a distant hill. And that's perhaps not quite light enough. So let's add some more titanium white to the mix. And just, we'll just gently drag that through that wet layer of paint. There we go. And so now we have an indication of some distant hills. The next thing is to begin to introduce the distant tree line in a rather more appropriate colour than we have so far. So I've added a considerable amount of ultramarine blue to that purpley mix that I had. And I'm using that to 
indicate these distant evergreen hills. Now in some places the paint will run thin and some of that uh, first layer of paint that I've put down will show through and that's absolutely fine. And the other thing I've done is on my brush I've deliberately not mixed the paint too thoroughly. So there will be some variation in tone and hue as I move from right to left. And that's going to give the impression of some texture on the leaf. Uh, you know, on the foliage. Okay, let's add another layer along the bottom there. Same, same again, but rather softer edged. So I've kept spiky edges along the horizon line. Now I'm doing a, a more soft, rounded edge for this second layer. So we've blocked in our sky and we've, begin to in, we've begun to indicate the distant tree line and the distant hills. So we'll leave that there for this episode. Hope to see you next time when I will be working on the middle ground and maybe we'll get to the field and the cows. We'll see how time goes. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you next time and please remember to subscribe to the channel.